right, so we're just going to go through checking your, your tread depth on your tyres. You just need a tread depth gauge. And then we pop it in the centre of the tyre, pop it out, push all the way down, just remove and check. Now just take a 5mm there, spin the wheel, that third of a turn, again, and then same again. Check it a few different points, so we've just done the centre there, and then same again on the edge. Find a bit of your groove of your tread, pop it in. Um, your, your legal limit on anything above 50cc is 1mm. Um, your tyres do have a wear bar in the centre that you can use as a, use as a guide, a visual guide. Um, but as long as it's got above a mil, over two thirds of the tyre, uh, one of the thirds has to be the centre third, um, you'll be good to go. Just have a spin the wheel as well, quick look around, make sure you've got no nails, screws, or any foreign bodies in the tyre. Other than that, good. Right, so I'm just going to show you how to check your, your tyre pressures, you just need a tyre pressure gauge. Then find your tyre valve on your, on your bike, remove your dust cap. Turn your gauge on. And then just pop your pressure gauge on. Nice flat and level. Push and hold. And then it'll give you a, a readout of your, of your tyre pressures. The uh, tyre pressures for your bike. If you see uh, your owner's manual, will give you a, a recommendation for what should be the, the rough guide, whether it's a solo ride or a lean rider on there as well. Should give you a good guide. If not, some manufacturer have a stick on the swing arm to give you a good indication of, uh, of where, to, where to go. Yeah.